the first thing we have to do is to put our textures pack inside the PPSSPP texture folder. And the easiest way to do this is by going to your Steam library, then click on top of Retro Arch, go to Manage and Browse Local Files. Then go to the Saves folder inside the Retro Arch folder. Go inside of the PPSSPP folder. If you don't have this folder, you'll have to start a game with the PPSSPP core, and this folder will be created here. Then go inside of it, inside of PSP, and then here create a new folder called textures. And place your textures inside of this folder. Now the textures folder are identified by the game ID. You have to change the name of your textures folder to the game ID. And you, if you don't know the game ID, you can go to the pcxdatacenter.com and then enter the PSP data center. Search for your games region and then search for your game. At the left of the game, there is a game ID. Copy it. Then paste the game ID in the texture pack. And delete the iPhone in the middle. Then make sure your textures are inside of this folder. If you download the texture pack that already comes with the game ID, then the only thing you have to do is just place the texture pack inside of the texture folder, textures folder. Then start RetroArch from the Steam library. Launch the game with the PPSSPP core. Then press the F1 in your keyboard and go to the core options, go to video. I recommend changing the, re the resolution to high resolution because you won't notice much difference in lower resolution. Then scroll down until you see texture replacement and turn on. Then close the core and run the game again. And the texture and the texture sh should be working correctly. That's it for this video, thank you for watching and happy gaming.